NCTV's Mike LeCouture joins us now from Ottawa with more on this. Mike, thanks for joining us. Good to see you, Roger. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Trudeau standing firm on the carbon tax. Uh, no plans. He says it's here to stay. But is he open to an emergency meeting? It doesn't seem like it at this point. I mean, he had been asked the question. I, yesterday on Power Play, asked Anita Anand, uh, the Treasury Board President, why not have that meeting, get them in the room and have that discussion. Uh, and she skirted that question, but essentially saying that, look, this is the price on carbon. Everybody has known about this. And that's what the Prime Minister continues to say, and what you heard just there. Look, that they put this price on carbon and every province was welcome to do the same if they thought that it would be beneficial to their particular residents. And this is something that the Prime Minister continues to say, actually challenging premiers. We've heard that uh, Manitoba Premier Wab Kanu, the NDP Premier, saying that, look, I intend to take up the Prime Minister on this challenge and look at a different type of pricing, something to fight emissions, but not add some sort of a tax or some sort of a levy on Canadians. The Prime Minister also in that response, Roger, very quick to point out that the Parliamentary Budget Officer report shows that 8 out of 10 Canadians get more than they actually have to pay in uh, to the carbon tax in form of rebates and also saying that those rebate checks, by the way, are coming again uh, April 15th. But he says that, look, uh, when you consider the federal backstop, that yes, it does affect all of those provinces and the premiers from those provinces have been complaining about it. But he also notes that in the different provinces that don't have it, so Quebec, NBC and the Northwest Territories, he notes that they're not getting a rebate, that they still have have to pay uh, some sort of levy. Uh, in Quebec's case, it's a cap and trade, uh, but they don't get those rebates as well. So really trying to emphasize the so-called positive side of it, as uh, the Liberals would say, but clearly that letter from Pierre Polyev uh, wanting uh, and encouraging him, once again urging him to have that discussion, that sit down with all the premiers and territorial leaders. And you mentioned uh, quite a few of the premiers there. What are some of the other premiers saying? Yeah, Andrew Fury was one of the first, uh, the premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. The liberal premier, interesting to note, because usually he is a friendly voice around the table for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He was one of the first to call for that meeting and saying that they need to have a discussion on it in some way that does not include uh, a tax on uh, the residents of Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, which is interesting considering the carve-out that the Atlantic provinces had gotten uh, on home heating oil. That is something that we remember uh, from just a few months Months ago, uh, but he is leading the charge on that as well. Expect a number of other premiers to continue to sort of bang this drum. Uh, we also heard from Doug Ford earlier today, Ontario Premier, and he had some even stronger words for the Prime Minister. Have a listen. Because we know Ontario families deserve to keep more money and their hard earned money in their own pockets, not the government's. Because we know Ontario businesses can't afford more costly burden. And at a time when the cost of living has never been higher, leaders at every single level of government, they have a duty. They have a duty to do everything we can to keep costs down for the hardworking people of Ontario. Doug Ford also went on to say that that would be the downfall of this prime minister, really predicting that come the election time, the federal election, um, that hanging on to the carbon tax would be something that will cost the prime minister his job. So some strong words from the Ontario Premier, Roger. Okay. CTV's Mike Lucatura, thank you for that.